Hey friends, it's Elizabeth Morse. I am the author of Container Corner, where we talk about all things um, gardening and containers. And uh, as the gardening season um, here in the Midwest comes to um, really an end, we're uh, in the middle of December now, I thought I would um, talk to you a little bit about one of my favorite indoor plants, and that is the Christmas cactus. Um, we see these everywhere in the grocery store, and this is one right here. They are very beautiful and they look like a cactus. They've got these little kind of sharp looking points, but they're really not, they really don't hurt you like a cactus does. It is a succulent, but it is not a cactus in the sense that we think of, um, of cactuses and that this guy does need some water. It actually originates in um, rainforests and they um, are succulents that grow on trees. They uh, are used to getting dappled light and um, a lot of humidity. So. A little different. Um, this guy I um, picked up at the grocery store. They're everywhere right now, and um, it's pretty dry. Actually, these don't you don't want to let them get all the way dried out. You want to plan on watering them like every two to three weeks. And if you can see, the bottom here has plenty of drainage holes. Now this guy came wrapped in a bunch of you know hoo ha Christmassy looking paper, um, bright and. Um, and shiny and I thought what I would do since so many people receive these as gifts I thought I would tell you a little bit about how to care for them and also uh, about a quick makeover that you can do if you're gifted one of these to make it look really nice in your home year-round so um, there are a couple ways that you can do it I actually like to keep them in their store-bought container if it's an appropriate size and this one is it's really it's not a huge plant it's got plenty of room um, but it's got all these great holes. And then oftentimes um, what I would do is just look for a, um, a pot or a container that I like and just set this right inside. Now you can get yourself um, a container that's got drainage holes, but I'm gonna, um, obviously here in Indiana in the winter time, I'm gonna keep this indoors um, and I don't want the, the planter to leak on my furniture or inside my house. So that's what I like to do. I like to get like a, um, a serious container and this one is what I picked out you can see um, not holiday looking um, just kind of uh, kind of neutral colors and um, I'm gonna take this guy and set it right inside so the lip hides the uh, the more you know unattractive plastic pot but it also lets this guy um, have great drainage you can see it's starting to flower and um, the reason that this is called a christmas cactus is because it starts flowering when the days get longer so we're approaching the winter solstice which is the shortest day of the year uh, with the most darkness and that's when these guys really shine they need at least um, 10 to 14 hours of darkness a day to start blooming which is kind of an interesting thing so um this is the Christmas cactus. There's also a Thanksgiving and an Easter, and those are um, the same genus, but they um, are timed to bloom at those times of year. So really they're all kind of the same, um, just slightly different. But I thought that this would be worth talking about because really so many of us get these gifted and they are really cool plants. Um, you wanna put it in an east facing window. It does not want direct light, but it does need quite a bit of light. So um, east facing is great dappled sunlight, um, just lots of it. And if you um, notice a trauma to your plant, like if you are losing some buds or some leaves or the leaves become um, discolored, um, if they bleach out, that's a good sign that you're getting too much sun. And if, um, as I was saying, if you're dropping the leaves or the, the buds, that's usually a sign um, of too much water. So um, it kind of helps you. It kind of, um, you know, tells you pretty quickly if it's unhappy, but they really are very low maintenance and really, really beautiful plants. So um, the Christmas cactus, bottom line, don't treat a Christmas cactus like it's a run of the mill cactus watered a little more regularly, but also be cautious not to keep it too wet. I hope that you have enjoyed this little Christmas cactus makeover, a great way to enjoy this fun plant year round. Thanks so much for tuning in.